Mind control's working for the government. I should try to give it a shot too. Like, share, subscribe, support Patreon, buy merch, join Facebook group, leave a comment. <laughs> That morning. Another day. So we're just here at the Edson shop. Hanging out. Slept here last night. And we gotta go over to Ganford. We'll load up some rail stuff and then that's gotta go. We're going out by Rob. Somewhere on a set of tracks, somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Maybe it's right in Rob. So we're going to Coal Valley though, so I don't know. They got tracks that run into that coal mine up there. I guess they're they weren't running. So they were shut down. Maybe we took that uh, centrifuge out there probably like two weeks ago. Where that big rock truck was, that tractor rock truck with the fifth wheel with the V12. I think it was a V12. Detroit in it. So we're going somewhere out there on a set of tracks. Which, yes, the tracks do run under the road. Just right by the coal mine. So this might be interesting. Well, it'll look cool anyways, regardless. So we'll go and load up, take that stuff down there, and then that'll be it for me. Let's go home. Uh, no going to Grand Cash. Damn it. Which is fine. It's just two 400s anyways. So. Well, I guess there's an accumulator and stuff there too, but... It's like... My Rocky guy's like, he might need a tank. Or he wants a tank this... Maybe tomorrow or something, so... Gotta be back in town just in case he calls. Stay tuned, we'll get uh, started here soon. So one of the pickers a little bit behind, so he's like, we got a little bit of time. I'm like, well, how much time? I got up, made coffee. Oh well. We'll get going here in a bit.
You better call that robot that spot show. What's that uh, spot bot? Looked really good. Yeah, it says you don't need four mirrors per side. Wide load mirrors installed. They don't look like they're, well, they're longer than what I had, but I just still don't think they'd be long enough for 14 wide shacks. But when the DOT passes you, they'll be like, oh, he's got his wide load mirrors on. I do. <laughs> and it's nicer for spotting mats because I can't. If I don't get it on the edge of the the roll like I do, like I showed you there, if it's like not right up against the pin, I can't see the far end of the mat really, so I'm just kind of blindly trying to put it in. So it's nicer to have the wide load mirror so I can see the very back of the 8x40, so I'm tucking it in. You know what I mean? giving away all my top secrets here. Pretty soon everybody's going to be spotting the mats like I do. Shit. Well, you guys that are already watching that are doing it already have a way you're doing it. So. Just going to do some town work today. I'm going to go over here, move an 8x30 shack, or 10, 12, 12 by 30 shack, over, and then we're going to go over here and get 
a bigger one, I don't know what size, because no one told me. Pick that up from over there, bring it over here, and put it where the 8 by uh, 12, 12 by 30, hello, shack was. Nothing too extravagant. It's going to be in the Blind Man Industrial, which is where Road Train used to be there, there, over by Evergreen, and Hopkins is over there. And other things, Apex. And other things that I don't really care about, but there's other stuff over there. Let's go. So it turns out the shack, 
it's got to be flipped around the other way so we're just gonna pull it out of here which I'll demonstrate in the video put it down drive around to the other side pick it up it'll turn around again and then we'll uh, back it into position and put it down let's see how this goes Just to get all warm and fuzzy every time I see a Q&A shack. I used to do a lot of work for them at Road Trainer. There was a small period of time where it was the only place I could do a video because I got in trouble from this job. But I went to Q&A and I was like, this is what I'm doing? Are you cool with me doing these videos? And he was like, yeah, cool. And then he actually wanted a video of uh, to display for his shacks and stuff. So. Small story, that's why I have this intro.
taking on all my gloves. So a chunk of pellet is what I prefer. Should be a little bit longer. People skid around their shacks in their own yard with like loaders and stuff. I got a little bit more work ahead of me. Only because, you know. Oh, I went past, I gotta go back. Damn it. All this shit. Here, I, I know most people would just be like, screw it, I'm going. I'm not comfortable with that. It comes out pretty easy. It's just something you gotta do. We went to back down a little bit because I like to wrap around that bar out to the outside skid.
people that I always hit. Oh. Hate that. Can't remember what I hit it on, but it was something hard and it was steel and it hurt a lot. And it's been a couple days. <laughs> it's still tender. So every, when it just couldn't even use the armrest, the whole. Oh, oh, I missed big time. Go! <laughs> Bring it over there just a little bit, juniors. That didn't happen while I was doing something else. Yeah, Ricky. Just broke that right in, huh? Huh. Well, now I'm gonna have to get another one. Should get an aluminum one because then you know damn well it's not gonna break. which this base is aluminum. Without it, you sit too low on the dash and really all you see is bug deflector. I don't know what color they are now. They're all dirty. Uh, that would be suspension. That would be supply. Hey, this one's still got some paint on it. Sus. just from in town here excavator I was like wow we got I'm like for what little work it requires just grab the booster I know I could if it's empty on fuel on a scissor trailer I can usually just with the Texas bed and that was my road train one I get tired of staying 
my road train line. Um, the boss's kit had a 290 and I could just, just scale that if it was pretty empty on fuel, but they're like, this one's gonna be full on fuel and all that, yada, yada, yada. So I'm like, oh, I better take a booster for sure. You up, you lock, strobes off, no need. Uh, so, gonna go and get that tomorrow morning. Oh, what's up with that? What the heck is that? <laughs> what's Gabby? What's with the tape? Is it that important to keep? Just goes Saskatchewan style, one line. On one side or the other. Always falling out though. We all know that. It's the guy that threw the rock at my window while it was that company. I can't remember, I don't know what it is, performance. Is that swabbing or not swabbing? <laughs> I think they do cementing of some sort, but I don't know what they do. I see them around a lot. I don't blame the guy, it just happened. I'm sure I've thrown rocks at people. So, it'd be more frustrating when you have like a brand new windshield and then you're like, boom. So, uh, it doesn't fit the greatest, but it fits just. The other one we had does not fit at all. It won't fit in between the bumpers, some of them. That one's a short bumper. This one's a long bumper, which now I'd rather have a short one because when you scissor flat and you're going through the bush and you got the rots in the mud there, it's, you're pretty much grading it all the time. I had to follow some of the other guys and I'm like, dude, you're just plowing the road. Okay, well, park this hot unit, go get some breakfast because I didn't eat yet, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Uma ameaça foi detectada. Uma ameaça foi detectada.